How's everyone's night? Yes! All right, guys, I need your help here. 2016 is a special year. I'm here with my friend, Nazar, who's a recent Syrian refugee. He just got to Canada. Let's show him a nice round of welcome. Let's go! I don't like the word refugee. It labels people through a narrow and unfortunate window in their lives. I mean, what would you do if you came home and it looked like this? When I was four years old, my family and I came to Toronto from Iran, and pretty quickly we had to learn what it's like hitting a reset on life. This is Nazar. He and his family came to Canada two months ago. Nazar was studying in Lebanon. Then he reunited in Syria with his parents and siblings right before they boarded a flight to Toronto. They were actually on one of the last commercial flights that would ever leave the Aleppo airport in Syria. Just a few of the millions of Syrians displaced worldwide. But for now, life is about the simple things, like buying a winter jacket and making sure that his conversations with people aren't just about ISIS. So on the last day of 2015, I decided to meet up with Nazar and show him a New Year's Eve that he will never forget. This is Karaj Hushman's welcome wagon. Yeah, man, the cold just... You're telling me it's not cold yet, but no, I'm, I'm freezing. No, I swear to God, two weeks ago, there was no snow, it was Christmas. Yeah, but no, once, like two days before, when it first started snowing, I was <laughs> outside the home. Yeah. It was a scary, like, your eyes would, like, wind. Yeah, that's the Toronto horror. Yeah. See, it's, a, it's an art crossing the street in Toronto. So, so they ticket you when you are like crossing without like the lights or? It's, it's called jaywalking. What is it? You know jaywalking? No. Okay, jay well, jaywalking is like it's like crossing in the street when you're not supposed to. Like jaywalking? Yeah, jaywalking. Oh. It's an inception right there. Jeez. It's a mirror, yeah? Woo! Oh my god! Wow, I feel like it's like discovering the rainbow guy. What is it? Double <laughs> rainbow. Oops. I'm still figuring out what what is this shop or <laughs> really it's what they do here. I feel my full self sleep. Like yeah, you look good, astronaut. man. You look like a no. <laughs> yeah, an astronaut. <laughs> we'll go up. It's actually not bad. No, not bad. Have you had a jacket that one before? No. Siri so doesn't get like that, huh? Do you think you'll ever feel that Canada is like your home more than Syria, or never? No way, no way, <laughs> no way. Logic-wise, the Canada is a better place to live, like mm. financially, maybe yeah. uh, socially, etc. But we belong there. Mm. It's part of our identity. It's part of our dreams, our character, our past, our future. So it's not like just you cut it and I know. Uh, you are in a better place. Is this like? like stuff overload for you? Like like for me it's like complete sensory overload. Like there's so much stuff. This is Canadian buzzer. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's the Canadian buzzer. I mean I hope not. <laughs> How you doing, man? Nice. <laughs> Did you witness any of the violence in Syria? Like firsthand? Not as much as later. Like my family saw more. What did they see? Like one of the bombs like they came to our house. So wow. we got uh, our balcony damaged, and last year, the day like like today, we had like another bombs in front of our home. Oh my God! Being from Iran, we've had our fair share of wars too. I mean, with with Iraq, and uh, you know, my family kind of experienced a similar thing where you know there would be bombs just flying over you know kids' heads on playgrounds, and that that just kind of became the reality. One of our friend was lost for 12 hours. Then we figured out that he, he died there. Yeah. And like his fiance was one of my closest friends. Whenever I remember those days, I, I start feeling the same pain somehow. War become part of your lifestyle. You know, the trajectory of your life is just changed, I mean, in an instant. You spend lots of time, you're planning and thinking about the future, then something happened that changed everything. So no, I didn't even imagine myself like, I will be in Toronto, working here, living here.
When you when you go to places and you tell people that you're, hi, I'm Nazar, and whatever conversation comes up, oh, where are you from? And you tell them, I'm Syrian. Do you think about how they look at you? Whenever I say Syria, I see the sadness in, in the face of others. Do you see that in Canada too? Yeah, sure. So you tell people and. You know, they say, "Wow, you know, you know." What they want you? to, they want to know about my journey, how was Syria, and uh, the first question, yeah. like, like in the morning when I was coming to you, the taxi yeah. like driver yeah. asked the same, yeah. "What about ISIS? <laughs> they are real or fake? We should believe them or not?" <laughs> not just yeah, no. simple as that. You yeah, know, yeah. In one word or less. So the first thing they are asking about ISIS, if it's real or not. The second thing, how is how is the situation there? And then they started asking like religious things, how. how how is the fight or the war yeah. for religious or not? So. Pretty complicated. Yeah, but the first thing it's ISIS. Syria, then ISIS. Always. Yeah. We all know that Syria will not be better during the next three years. So it's better to grab the opportunity to learn new mm. things, work, learn, better than dream about the past and how we used to live and how our country was beautiful. Does that bull make you uncomfortable? Because yeah. it's going <laughs> to <your, laughs> whoop your ass in a couple minutes now. You want some fries? Two, sure, thank you. You don't have any hands though. You're carrying my stuff, man. Thank you. Right over there. No, here. There, there. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Yeah, tie it up. After you got all, okay, I'm curious, like, after you got all your paperwork done, on your first day, you woke up, what'd you do? Finally, during the last three years, I have my bed. I know that the next five years, I'm here. I'm here. Whatever, like, no one could come and say, go mm. out of this home. Jeez. You are illegal or, or, or... And started, like, planning the other things. Yeah, you start to create problems for yourself. Well, I mean, that's the same thing. Like, like when I... I was four when I came from Iran to Canada. And I remember, like, for the first little while, we were staying at relatives' uh, houses. Not for a long time, but, like, we, we got kind of got acquainted. We were living in a similar area. And, like, that closeness and that... Even that proximity, it's like you can take some solace in that, you know, you can, you, you feel a lot more comfortable. You, it's not like yeah. you against the world, it's like you have like a couple other people there, yeah. you know? Exactly. Let's go teach them how to skate, huh? Let's go, these guys, these guys don't know. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, pumpkin juice. <laughs> what is my hand gonna do? Why are you holding my hand? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sit down. Yeah. Okay. You you you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh, yeah, Nazar, Nazar, please. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Blue label? Johnny Wolf. Black label? Blue label is too much. Maybe oh, after yeah, three yeah, years. People should appreciate the moment they are living. The partying things, the, the electricity, everything that they now consider it as part of the standard life. People back, my friends, my family, my relatives, they are suffering from it. In Syria. People now welcoming New Year's without electricity, without water, without any, even without, forget everything like tangible. Does it make The you... social thing, like they are not yeah. safe. And now I know I'm in safe place. And ever, over it, I'm partying with the best people. They're like very welcoming people. Does it make it hard for you to appreciate yeah. this though? When you know there's family back in Syria. Sometimes I feel, man, I'm guilty. I'm guilty toward the people that are left there. Like, how can I share those moments with them and they're suffering from things? How's everyone's night? Yeah! All right, guys, I need your help here. 
2016 is a special year. I'm here with my friend Nazar, who's a recent Syrian refugee. He just got to Canada. Let's show him a nice round of welcome. Let's go! Like, it's a pleasure, and I'm more than happy to be with you. Leaving and immigrating to Canada for me, it's a golden opportunity and I want to say thanks to Canada. And Happy New Year for all of you. I wish you the best of the best. Cheers. Nazar became an instant celebrity after that speech. Just a small comfort from his current reality. Then it hit me. This cold, unfamiliar place, it's 5,000 miles away from his real home in Syria. If Nazar has learned anything from life so far, it's that you can never bet on the future. As of right now, Nazar is a refugee, but he's also my new friend. 